What's up everybody, Keith Mitchell here from the Outer Haven and what you see in front of you is actually my best friend when I'm gaming. And if you're a PC gamer, this might be one of your best friends as well. Of course, I'm talking about Play Night, a library manager or what I call pretty much the all-in-one wonder for PC gamers. Now, for those who don't know what Play Night is, obviously the PC has a lot of different launchers right now, a lot of different storefronts. We've got Steam, Bethesda, Uplay, We've got GOG, we've got Epic Games, we've got a bunch of them that I haven't even covered. And as you know, when you want to launch a certain game that's on a certain launcher, you got to go to that launcher or set up a shortcut or do some sort of wizardry to get it to play the game that you want. Now, I know there's a lot of other clients out there that does the same thing. And I know GOG has GOG Galaxy 2.0, which I finally got access to the beta, but I haven't tried it yet. But I plan on doing it in the upcoming week. We'll see what happens. I got a lot of stuff on my plate. However, that said, I've been using Play Night for quite some time, and they updated the thing, I think, a couple days ago. And obviously, I wanted to show you what exactly is new. For those who've seen Play Night in the past, this will look extremely different because it actually is different. Same great interface, but now it looks a lot better. There are a lot more options you can do now to customize your experience. And it also has a couple of new tricks. That said, at the top, it's easier to navigate now. We just use the left or right, or if you have a controller, which I'm using right now to navigate everything, it's a lot easier. So let me show you a couple things you can actually do with this. Now, I know PC gamers have their favorite games. So a really nice thing with this is, I can now go to a game. I see which one I haven't added as a favorite. We'll go to Bayonetta. We'll go to Bayonetta, we'll hit start, and we'll go, I want you to add it to my favorites. Okay, done. Then I'll go to Yakuza 0. I know it should already be in my favorites. Oh, I bypassed it. I got to go back. Yakuza 0, add the favorites. Done. And then how about, of course, Dark Souls 3. Add it to my favorites. Now, what I can do is on the upper left-hand side, I got to go way over here. I can say, hey, I want to play my favorites. And hey, look. Yakuza 0 is in there, Dark Souls 3 is in there, and, well, yeah, they're in there. And that's pretty much it. It's actually really nice. I'm um, not sure where those those buzzes came from. Ignore those. Ignore those sounds in the background. I'm not sure where they came from. Anyway, so I can basically say, okay, great, favorite games. What about my most played games? Well, bam, there you go. Some of these aren't games. Some of these are applications, but you get the idea. Dark Souls 3 is my most played game, which is interesting because in the past, this did not pull the metadata from the clients. So it didn't keep track of how long you played the game. However, they have changed this. So now it sorts across according to how long you played the game. So Dark Souls 3 is easy, a game that I played the longest with Dark Souls 2, and then Dota, then the Surge, Monster Hunter. You get the idea. You can see how long I've been playing these games, which is interesting. It's definitely pulling the data from Steam now, which is great. And of course, recently played, which I was playing Sekiro before I started the video and a couple other games that I can't talk about. And of course, there's an all now. I'm, I'm navigating back and forth between the bumpers or the triggers on my Xbox One controller. Really cool stuff. All right, what else is new is the fact that we can now filter out stuff. So yes, we have the upper left-hand side, yes, but we also have, if you see at the bottom right, or bottom left, excuse me, it says play, details, options, search, and filter we can now search by filters. So we can say, I wanna show just installed games and you see them or just my uninstalled games, which you'll see now. Yes, it now shows you uninstalled games and I'll go into that very soon. Uninstalled games, I can also say, show me my favorite games here. I can go show me the platforms because as you know, or maybe you didn't know, Play Night lets you use emulators. So I can use any sort of emulators with this and I basically tell it this belongs to this and it would sort them, but I don't have any emulators in this. So we'll get out of that. We can also go from, <clears throat> excuse me, library. We can say, just show me Battle.net stuff. Just show me Bethesda stuff, which I don't have on here, which is weird because I, oh, I don't have the launcher, excuse me. Epic stuff, GOG stuff, Origin stuff, Steam stuff, Twitch stuff. You get the idea. It shows it all. It's actually really nice. And then, let me go get back out of here and again I'm navigating strictly with uh, my controller which is really nice stuff 
we can change it and say categories. We can make categories, which I haven't done yet, but you can say fighting games, action games, best games, really nice stuff you can do with that. And you can add additional filters. Like you can say, I want to short, sort of short, yeah. I want to sort by action or arcade games or casual games, even early access games, you know, free to play games, hack and slash, gore. It's really nice. There's a nudity thing. Is there anything that's new? What? Wolfenstein 2 has nudity in it? Naughty. I better not play that. But you get the idea. It's, it's actually really nice. Sorts all my racing games, role playing games. So I really like the addition of the filter. Obviously, you can sort by name as well, which is, you know, not really that new. We can leave the filter. We can go and do searching as normal, which you can just use the keyboard. That's not really new. Um, let me go back to all. Actually, no. I, I take that back. Let's go try this. Let's go find a game that has not been installed on this machine. No, we don't want to uninstall you. We want you to stare. Uh, let's find uninstalled. I'm not, I'm not going to go through the entire process, obviously, but I want to show you something because this was an issue with the previous version. It would not install correctly. However, I can now say install. And what it will do is it will tap into Steam because using the Steam metadata. See how it tracks my time now? 40 hours in Chasm. I love the fact. Wait, 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 wait. I have to go do something. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Dark Souls 3. It should give me more information, right? It should. If what if I yeah play? Ah, oh, it's gonna play the game. No, I don't want you to play the game. Sorry, folks. I don't want you to play the game. I just wanted to see the metadata for this game. There we go. 838 hours in Dark Souls 3. What is wrong with me? That's that's a lot of time. Anyway, let's get back to the uninstalled. Let's go back to buy a shotgun fan, whatever. So it'll say, hey, you can now install this game. Do you want to install it? Great. It launches Steam now, and now Steam is installing the game. The downside to this is this is not controlled with a controller. You still have to use your keyboard and mouse, which is fine. It's connecting to my account. It's going to install the game, which is great. So it's nice to see that that is not available and it's not working properly. Obviously, I don't want it to continue, so I'm just going to back out of that. I also wanted to show all my games. So I'll just show it all the install games and obviously you can see that from there another cool feature is now it has notifications that are very clear it now tells you hey i couldn't import games from battle.net or epic or steam these are errors from a previous session it should wipe them away there we go dismiss all instead of one i wanted to dismiss one instead of dismiss them all but that's fine it also has a clock now which you didn't i don't believe it had before and we have more settings so we can tell the exit play night exit the desktop mode which we really don't want these are new turn off the system suspend the system and restart the system so steam big picture is something that everybody compared this to and they said that steam big picture could start restart your machine play night can now restart your machine as well which is great you can also send feedback and support the gentleman who made this on patreon but let's go to settings because there are some settings here i know some of you people are going to be excited about so if you have multiple monitors, you can now change the monitors. You can change the cursor or the highlighter and say, see how I have ugly lime green? I'm not a big fan of that. So I can change it and it'll go back to uh, clear. We also can change how the screen looks. So we can have it from a vertical and we can change it to a horizontal and we can change how big or how many we, columns we want. So basically we can leave it like this and then no, I don't want to restart right now. And we can just scroll through all of them. It's pretty ugly that way, but you get the idea. You can do as you can do as much as you want to do. You can add rows, or you can go back to the vertical and change the rows again, make them as big as as small as you want, depending on how big your TV is. I have a nice 55 inch 4K TV to the left of me, so this looks actually pretty good. Not so good in the video, but great on the TV. I can also change the spacing of the tiles which looks pretty decent as well. We can also say, all right, I want you to show me the names of the games under each one of them. Show battery status if I was on a laptop, which I'm not. I can also get rid of the clock and then install only quick filter, which obviously shows it only show the games that are installed. And this one, this one, I know a lot of people were asking for this. It will now show PlayStation 
DualShock buttons. It should say DualShock instead of PlayStation, but you get the idea. Very nice indeed. I do like that. There are some features it wants me to restart. I'm not restarting. I also really don't... Yeah, I guess I'll leave the, the, the tiles there. It's not a big deal. And of course, as I mentioned, there also is the restart. Go back up there. Restart. So, it's going to restart my machine. Obviously, I'm not going to do it because the video will probably get borked. But, like I said, it definitely records... Or sorry, it definitely restarts. You know what? Screw it. Restart. See how long it takes. It just killed the Bioshock Infinite installation. Which is probably trying to close it down now. Probably should have stopped that. Alright. Capture card said, hey, signal is now gone. This machine is actually very quick. It's a little home theater PC that started off as an HT PC, which turned into my mini gamer. Rocking a Ryzen 7 1700, uh, GTX and ADTI, 16 gigs of memory. It's a little workhorse. I love it. Though I need to upgrade the video card eventually if I want to do better, better 4K gaming on it. Of course, Windows usually takes a while to start because it's Windows. Even though I've killed most of the services, Windows still takes forever and a day to come on. There we go. There's my ugly mug in that low, low res image. That's an old picture of my office too. And hello, Dark Souls 3. Kind of have an unhealthy obsession with this game. If you couldn't tell by the 830 hours I've had in this game. And that's not counting the PlayStation version or the Xbox version either. Seriously? Somebody's pinging me again? Go away. So, there we go. As soon as it starts up, it loads right into the here. I, have, I don't need to do anything else. I'm good to go. And it changed the controller from the ugly lime green to an orange color. And we still have access to the mouse, and we still have access to the controller, which I keep forgetting every time the machine turns off, it also kills the controller. But either way, it works without any issues. All right, so people were probably saying, okay, let me see it launch a game. Sure, let's launch a game. Let's launch Sekiro. Of course, it's going to take forever in a day because Steam has to take its uh, slow ass time. And. It does an updating Steam every time. Every time you start Steam, it does this. I don't know why it does it. But I wish it would stop. Either way, Sekiro is now booting up. Steam is good to go. And of course, Sekiro is easily one of my favorite games of 2019. Though, it doesn't have, it doesn't have the same playability as Dark Souls 3 has. Once you beat Sekiro and you beat the best ending, it kind of doesn't really have any challenge. There's no online either. There's no PvP. So... It's kind of a one and done experience. I've beaten it twice so far, but I'm not going to play it again until we get some DLC. Hopefully we get some DLC. Hopefully we'll know something at Gamescom. Either way, all right, you just saw Reshade load up because I got a couple mods on here. As you'll see as I start the game, there goes Sekiro. Loading it up. Pretty sure last time I played this, I died because I was actually checking something. Yes, I know how to deflect. I know all about that deflect life. Let's go. Oh, I'm still alive. As you can see, I'm rocking a Raiden from Metal Gear Revengeance in a Katana mod. I don't remember what name it was. Sorry about that. If you tried to know what it was, I don't know what it is. I'm pretty sure if I look at the, the uh, file directly, it'll tell me. This guy's day is totally wrecked. Sorry, bro. But that's it. This is the updated version of Play Night. I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you liked it, go ahead and hit that like button. If you didn't, I wish you did not like it. I wish you enjoyed it. Hit the dislike button. And as always, hit the subscribe button if you want more notifications about cool stuff coming here from the Outer Haven. Or if you just want to hear my voice or you just want to see the stuff that I'm talking about. And leave a comment below if you have any questions regarding Play Night or anything else that we do here at the Outer Haven. Alright? Thank you for watching.